<clears throat> Let's see who we have watching tonight. Oh, a bunch of y'all. I got my Facebook notification. Did y'all? Hey, Janice. Hey, Pam. Hi, Catherine. Hey, Omira. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Trina. Hey, Jolila. June is here. Kathy's here. Laura's here. Robin's here. Zane is here. Karen, Marcy, Lee, Elizabeth, Tammy. Uh, Sharon is here. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Heidi. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Eileen. Thanks for joining, y'all. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Miss Peggy. Kez is here from Australia. I can't see the uh the Facebook ones. Let me get over there on this little monitor so I can see who is watching from there. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. Rebecca's here. Jojo is here. Say hi if you're watching on Facebook so I can say hi to you. Hi, Cindy. You can't stay, Karen. You're doing your one stroke homework. Okay, boo. See you later. April, how are you? Hi, Jenny. Crystal's watching. Cindy Debrino's watching over on Facebook. How are you, Cindy? I'll see you in a few weeks, won't I? 10 days, maybe? Is it 10 days? Maybe a little bit longer? Hi, Megan. What you doing, boo? Look, I got to show y'all something new. I, I'm going to tease you a little. Uh, that's coming. I can't actually show you what it is, but we have something added to the luxury line that's in the summer release here in just about 10 days or so. <gasps> Look at these babies. How beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Lisa's why tease us like that. Aren't they beautiful? These are coming for a summer release, not to worry. I will show you all about them. When the time is right, honey, when the time is right. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Hi, Gabby. I know they're beautiful, aren't they? I'm trying to wait till seven o'clock before I open these babies. Won't you stop it? One of your clients says you have enough brushes. Girl, I don't never have enough brushes. I have two sets in my studio right here. I got a set two doors down in the classroom and another set at home. Oh, and a set in my travel bag. I, look, I don't want to unpack brushes from one bag and pack it in another bag. Because then you're going to lose something or I'm going to get somewhere and not have the brush I need. So I just, that that's like a staple for me. It's like deodorant. It's in all my travel bags. It's at home. It's at the office. I have airwear, honey. Airwear. Hey, Melinda, how are you? Hi, Jamie. Part of being a nail tech is product and tool hoarding. <laughs> you might be right. You might be right. So listen, guys, we got a few things coming up on the TikTok. If you don't follow us on TikTok, go do it. Uh, you can search it by the mobile manicurist or Queen Ladybug Nails. Either one comes up. And uh, our TikTok shop is going live hopefully tomorrow maybe Wednesday at the latest. Uh, so we got some things up our sleeve for over there. We'd love to have you join us. We'd love it, love it. Thank you, Janice. Listen, tonight is wedding nails. I know y'all love these palettes. First of all, I owe you an apology. When I read the email, I was telling Rebecca about this a couple weeks ago. I thought these were being replaced. I thought the these were all going bye-bye. But I went back and read the email, and I'd read the email wrong. They are making replacement gels for these. They are not replacing the five palette. 
but very soon we will be able to get all of these colors individually. So let's say you use all this one up, you can get a replacement gel for that. That was my mistake. So I want to apologize to y'all on that and let you know these five piece palettes right now are not going anywhere, but we can get replacement colors for that. Uh, so yes, I just wanted to clarify that. Tonight we have the wedding week bundle. This is, this is called June Wedding. This is entirely beautiful. I've not even swatched this one yet. I can't wait to use this tonight. This has a very pale cream, like the tip of what your natural nail would look like, uh, a buff color, uh, a blush, a shimmery peach, and then this kind of um, deeper, what would you call that? It's not terracotta by any means. It's like a really pretty lipstick shade. Uh, these come in a double bundle tonight. So this one is called June Wedding. And this one is called the Rebel Bridesmaid. <laughs> Blush, yeah. Look at this. These hot pinks are stunning, honey. I've, I've already been using out of this one. So it's got the uh, shimmery, glittery one here. And then uh, like a bright bubblegum pink. And this is a super bright Barbie pink. And then two shades of neon pink. This one is a little bit more on the purpley pink side uh, than this one. So in the bundle tonight, we've given you a little discount off of that. You're going to get both of these uh, solid palettes. And you're never going to believe what I'm using with it. Y'all have gone crazy over uh, my cat eye. Now, I can't show you what's in this cat eye yet because it's in the uh, summer release. But I'm going to show you how to do this cat eye tonight. Okay. Because something's stuck on the end of my nail, honey. I'm going to show y'all how to do this one. It's easier than you think. Okay. So in the bundle tonight, you're going to get both of these. You're going to get Moonbeam cat eye this wait till you see that over this and you're also going to get always a bridesmaid the wedding theme looks gorgeous over either one of these palettes all for 99 dollars. we only have 30 something of these bundles tonight because of uh, these right here. It's all I could put together. Now these are available individually. Uh, I was able to throw just a handful in individual stock of these, but I know y'all love these colors. So don't let this one uh, pass you by boo-boos. Hi y'all. Okay, let's get it. Each one of these palettes come with a brush. That one I won't open. I've already opened this one. Let's go ahead and let me close this one down. Let's swatch these colors first so we know what we're getting into here. Uh, it's nothing more frustrating than buying a gel polish and not knowing the opacity of it or something like that. Not being able to see the coverage. I love this little brush actually that comes uh, with these. Now don't forget, we have done the math. Hold on, this one doesn't have the sizing broke out of it. We've done the math. You can get 85 nails out of each color. 85 nails. Okay, there we go. Let's work from lightest to darkest here. These are HEMA free, you guys. If you had to buy five HEMA free gel polishes. You would pay a whole lot more than $29 uh, for a, a packet of these. Now this one is made to use um, like over top of these. This is just a really sheer, pretty, shimmery glitter. Can you see the viscosity of that gel? I hope so. I've switched my lighting around today. So I hope you can see this a little bit better. These will sell out before midnight. Every time we have a solid gel palette, it's gone. It is G-O-N-E, honey. I'm just going to wait and cure all these at once. The next one is this uh, bubblegum pink.
You ordered one, Janice? It's such a value on these. I um I want to get all of the singles and have those in stock just in case we run out of like your favorites. These almost cover in one coat. I dare say that they probably would if I weren't swatching on camera. But I'm a thin polisher too. I am. What am I wearing on my nails? I am wearing um, one of the new eye candy colors. It hasn't released yet. And then I have uh, a mix together two different cat eyes that are in the summer release. We're releasing two cat eye collections for summer. One is the Mood Ring Cat Eye Collection. And one is the Goddess Cat Eye Collection. I took one from each of those, mixed it together, made different color, honey. <laughs> And uh, that's what I'm wearing, boo. As soon as that releases, I'm going to show y'all what I have on because I have gotten so many uh, questions on these nails. Rebecca says, if you think you don't need both, you're wrong. They, they are totally different cat eyes from both ends of the spectrum. I'll give you a hint. One of them is a clear based cat eye <gasps> look at these colors honey let me turn that one light there we go there we go just make a little adjustment here and here is that neon, neon pink. Oops, that's the wrong color. That's the wrong color. Hold on, hold on. I already put that one on. I just like to tease you. I'm excited because we've been working on these cat eyes for a long, long time. And um, there we go. Cat eyes are easy for people who can't do art, but they are beautiful. Uh, behind one stroke and it just elevates like hand-painted art. Look at this, how pretty. Mm-hmm. All oh, those shades of pink going on there. And last but not least, let's grab this one. How many of y'all use these solid gels now? And like you just sit on wait until the next one gets released. I do have avid collectors of this. You do, Elizabeth. Like this is my color right here. This reminds me of the pink purple base in Beauty Bombshell. Now, y'all, these cure to an almost tack free uh, coverage. It all it it doesn't it doesn't have a slimy layer. It doesn't have really a tacky layer. You can chrome right over top of this if you want. It is almost completely tack free. Really good value, especially if you do press on nails, because look how nice that covers. Let's pop that in the lamp. Now, when that comes out, I'm going to do another coat of these two right here uh, because I'm going to set that up for this cat eye. We're going to use Moonbeam Cat Eye uh, over top of these. Now, this is in the bundle tonight. If you, uh, a silver cat eye, you can use with anything. You can change the color of this. Uh, I'll show you here in a second how to change the color. All right, let's go back in here. And let's do one more coat of this. I probably could have got by with just the one. Mm-hmm. And one more coat of this one. 
These are so nice and whipped and pretty. This pink is beautiful. It looked good on you, Valerie. I can't wait to see you in June, boo-boo. Our next training here at the Ladybug Lab is uh, Nail Art PhD. That's what Karen said she was working on. She's doing her homework for that. Let's cure that, but let's take this one off there. Now, I'm just dry wiping in between colors. If you were technically changing colors, you'd probably want to clean out your brush a little bit here with some uh, alcohol, acetone, something like that. It's beautiful. It is a gorgeous color, Omira. Okay, so now we only have one coat on there. It's a little bit streaky. I'm not worried about that because I'm going to go into this one and we're going to layer this on top of this. Won't you stop it, Miss Tracy? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And just let it settle till those glitters kind of lay down just a little bit. And then you can cure it. Virtually no tacky layer. I'm going to go ahead and put one last coat on this one. This one is going to get always a bridesmaid over top of it. Sometimes I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to do immaculate and very intricate artwork that we just don't do anything. Anybody ever done that before? Or we just put glitter? Yeah, artwork is not only, nail art to me is uh, even a really pretty set of sculpted nails or however you do your nails. If you use tips, if you sculpt, if you do full cover nails, the thing is all of those should look really, really good. You shouldn't be able to tell one from the other where it's, whether it's sculpted, whether it's tips, whether it's a full cover nail, they should all be put on so well that they all have a really, really good foundation. We have a Facebook question, okay. This is gel polish. Gel polish, HEMA free. Five colors, 85 nails from each one of those little cells. We Rebecca did it. She sat down and painted to see how many nails we'd get out of there. Okay, let's move. This is uh this is um Rebel Bridesmaid. Now let's look at June Wedding. She's a little bit softer. She's not a rebel. Look at her. You get a gel brush with every one of these. I think it would be pretty to actually mix these colors and you get a whole nother color palette. We may not see this one very much on uh, this natural nail, but I do want you to see the color of that. Uh, yes, you always want to top coat to protect, always. Yeah, we see it, we see it. Just a really pretty creamy white. This is the color of your what your natural nail tip should be. You can actually do an American manicure with this. Look at that, how pretty. I like the brush in these too, Elizabeth. Uh, if you've not used the brush in yours, or maybe you don't have this, it's see how it's a little bit lighter down here at the end? Those brush hairs are tapered, so it gets thinner at the free edge of that brush. All right, let me clean that brush just slightly. I'm so excited about this palette. 
Look at the consistency of that gel polish. Really nice. Brush comes with it. We got 85 nails out of each cell, Lee, and that was about the length nail that I'm doing. Obviously, anybody can have streaks if they don't put it on the right way. Uh, it can, you could have streaks if you use a base coat that's really slimy versus a base coat that just has a slight tack to it. So what I would suggest before you start polishing with these, if you're, if you're a base coat collector, <laughs> test it over two or three of your base coats to see which one you're going to like the best. Yes, yeah, she said she did fairly thicker than normal. Look at that color, how beautiful. That's pretty much opaque on one coat. That was 85 polished coats. That was 85, like she didn't do double coats. We're saying 85 applications in one of these. Okay, let's do this blush. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. If rose gold were rose gold without metallic, this would be rose gold down here. This color. <gasps> you guys, look at that. You know what? This would make um, a good for portraits. Right there's your blusher for your cheeks, your highlighters. Oh, okay, I love that. This is number one. This is June wedding. Oh, this is beautiful. This would be pretty with the pink sparkle from the other palette over top it. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Let me clean my brush and we will do this little shimmer one next to it. I'm sorry, was there another question? Oh yeah, okay. Rebecca says they ombre really nicely together. Oh, honey, look here. Look, 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 look. Oh, that is beautiful. This looks like a lip gloss. Oh, a very pretty uh, pearly. You can see on the nail, it doesn't look anything like it does. It's very concentrated, the color in here. I like that you get a, a shimmer one in each one of these palettes. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's go in the light. And last but not least in here is this one right here. I'm gonna love this one too, I can already tell. How pretty that is. Yes, yes, yes. In the light.
Here's that one. Now, if you want to ombre these, uh, you could ombre this darker one that I just used over this one. You could even use the little sponge like I use uh, to put those on with. Obviously, a sponge is going to soak up more of your color. But if you wanted it nice and airbrush looking, that's how I would do it. I wouldn't think about uh, putting it on with a brush. Let's take a peek see at these. Look at that, how pretty together. That's beautiful. Let me do one more coat on this one so I can set these up for uh, the cat eyes that I want to do. And I think I'll do another coat on the blush one. There we go. And then let's get to the art portion. Ah, uh, this one. Very satisfying. Look at that. This almost has a, uh, I'm not gonna say lavender, but I do want to say lavender. It kind of has a heather undertone to it. Uh-oh. Fuzzy. Okay, so there's our colors for tonight. Let's clean out our brush now. I like to keep the little thing that comes off the end of mine and after I clean it just like that and I put it right back in there so that way I don't get gel all in my little tray down here. The colors are beautiful. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Hema free for five twenty nine dollars for five gel polishes is insane. In this case in the bundle you're going to get 12. You get five in this one you get five in this one and then you get two team ladybug gel polishes that i'm going to show you a little bit of layering here all right always a bridesmaid is from the dazzling daydreamer collection and it's this beautiful lavender but it has a uh it has a pink slash rose gold halo to it so now when we take this bright Barbie pink and we put always a bridesmaid over top, I want you to watch what happens to this. And I look, I'm putting mine on thin because I still want to see that pink underneath it. This has some little flashy gels in it. I got my other light sitting here because it's hard to see flash gels under studio lights. Hold on. Let's put this little light on the flashy gel. See what she's doing? Look at that. Oh. Y'all know what I mean when I say flash gel, right? Flash gel shows up under a camera flash. It shows up under uh, natural lighting outside, and it shows up in incandescent lighting, not daylight lighting. You'll never see it in your daylight lamp. It has to have that warm light on it. Let's put her in the light. We're also going to take this beautiful kind of heathery color and we're going to put that same um, Always a Bridesmaid over top this one. 
because look, the halo in this matches that gel polish. You wouldn't think you could mix these two together, but wait till you see what color it makes. Oh, this is pretty. Let me get in frame so you can see. We'll put that little light right over top. Look how she goes crazy in warm lighting. Then in cool lighting. It's going to look a different color whatever light you wear it in. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yes. I love this color. So in the lamp we go. Let's talk about cat eye. Tombstone cat eye is a um, crystal cat eye, not excuse me, a velvet cat eye. Velvet cat eyes don't show up in, um, velvet cat eyes don't show up like this. It has to have that, you see when that warm light goes on it, how she goes crazy? Okay, this is what we call a, a not, not a flash uh, cat eye like flash glitter. This is a crystal cat eye. Crystal cat eye. Queen ladybug is the first crystal cat eye we ever had. King ladybug, however, is a velvet cat eye. Should, shall I show you the difference before I, I pull this cat eye? Yes? Okay. Where would they be? Right here on the cat eye shelf. King? Queen. Now you can tell a little bit even in the swatch button on the top of these. King Ladybug is here. That's velvet. Queen Ladybug is there, especially in the warm lighting when this like outdoor sunlight goes on it. Okay, so let me show you the difference in these two first. So we know what we're working with. Here's King Ladybug. He goes over uh, himself. Neither of these go over black. Look at that rich, rich color. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's put that in and cure. And let's do the same thing with Queen Ladybug. First coat, we're going to cure on these two because we don't have anything under it. These nails that we've just swatched, we've already put down the first coat of color because we're going to use a silver cat eye over it. Both of these reds are amazing. Now, Queen Ladybug is a little bit more on the raspberry red side. Okay, and we cure her. Thank you for the orders, you guys. We really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. If you were, while those are in the lamp, if you were not here at the start of the video, uh, we have something coming in our summer release. Mm -hmm. Can't show you what, but look at these fancy, fancy things. Ooh, child. Okay. Super strong magnet. This is our big old long magnet. We're going to take King Ladybug back out here. The second coat of King Ladybug goes right over that 
first coat that we cured. This will give us a very subtle, soft, velvety uh, cat eye. I'm gonna go maybe this way and kind of hover, hover, hover. Did you see that? And maybe this way, I'm gonna push. And there is King Ladybug. Let me put that in the lamp and then I'll put it up close for you. Because the longer it sits here, the more those metallic particles, whoopsie, uh, want to slide back out of there. Here we go. Now, Queen Ladybug is Crystal Cat Eye. You should be able to tell a difference already in these. I love this Queen Ladybug red. Now watch what happens when we pull this cat eye. And we go up in here a little. We have a more prominent cat eye in here. Let me go under. And now here is King Ladybug Cat Eye. For some reason, red loves black behind it on camera. And here is Queen Ladybug. So the one on the left is the velvet. The one on the right is the crystal. Are y'all able to see that on camera? Everybody needs a good red in their life. If we could only have one color, it should be red for nails. <laughs> All right, now that we know the difference in a crystal cat eye, we're going to go with this darkest. Well, let me do a black first because I got to show you how to pull this. And you can see it better on black. And then I'll show you over uh, these colors that we did. So in the kit, in the bundle tonight, we're going to get Moonbeam. Moonbeam is a crystal cat eye. So since we're putting it over black, we're just going to kind of pretend we've already polished the nail black. This definitely has to have something under it. It can be black. It can be nude. It can be, this is just very, very subtle when you pull it over nude. It's really, really pretty. And of course, when you get outside, it's going to go cray cray. You can already tell that's a crystal cat eye by the texture of the gel. It's not smooth like the, uh, like the velvet cat eye is. So when you are doing the cat eye I'm wearing, if you only have this magnet, this is okay too. But what you don't want to do is this because that pulled the cat eye all into one area. Or, let's reactivate that cat eye. If you have the other end, you can use it kind of like I was using this uh, one magnet over here. I usually pull my, you see how I'm bouncing right there? I get a better cat eye effect if I do a little bouncy bouncy on there. So now I'm getting like a 9D effect on uh, this particular cat eye. So that's another way we can use it. Let's cure that one, that's so pretty. However, the way I have this on, let's put this on here. Make sure you use a generous layer. Get all the way to the free edges. And I'm gonna zoom out so you can see where my magnet's gonna go. I gotta get all this in here. Here's my nail, here's my magnet over here. I am going to leave the magnet just like this. And as soon as I get close, 
I just go down the side. Did you see that? Oh, won't you stop it, Miss Tracy? Turn it this way. Do the same thing here. Just going to lightly push it. Push, push, push. Push, push. Push. And that is how I am wearing the cat eye on my nails. Mm-hmm. Look, it'll try to slide back on you, especially on a nail this long. Just rein it. There we go. Just rein it in back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you can push down, back, forth. Now cure it. You love all the cat eyes. You're going to love this. We have 10 for summer coming out. We have a four-piece goddess collection, and we have a six-piece mood ring cat eye collection. Now, this one cured already. Look at this, how pretty. This cat eye gets underrated because it's silver, but I'm going to show you how to change the color of this and make a bajillion colors of cat eye with just this. With just this. I'm just waiting on this other one to finish up here. Okay, so this is how I have my cat eye on right now. I call it the push and shove method. Now, when we bring our sunlight back in, hold on. Look what she does in the sun. Ouch, that's hot. You see how she go crazy? It's a little bit of that flash cat eye. Okay, all right. Now let's take, would you hand me those uh, inks right there, please? Let's take this nail that we put this super dark pink on. We're gonna put Moonbeam over top it. Make sure we get a really good coverage. Uh, Moonbeam can actually extend your gel polish collection, especially if you don't have that many colors. You can make a bajillion colors with it. Okay. Now come out here. Turn that. Get close and hover. Push, push, push. Push, push. You're just pushing around the per, uh, parameter. Very subtle push, but boy, is that pretty. And now into the light we go. Now, in case you didn't watch last week, we have a new painter's palettes. Who got these? Ooh, cha, I love these palettes. These are the Painter's Pro palette. You get a four by four white and black. We had these custom made for our company. Now we're gonna take some uh, Ladybug Luster. We'll put this on our palette. And whatever you've polished your nail in first, which I used uh, this dark pinky purple, it doesn't have to match exactly. You pick out an alcohol ink to match it or to coordinate with it. So in this case, I'm going to use our pink alcohol ink. And I'm going to put it right in here. Probably equal parts. Stir it up. And now I've just made a glass gel. So now over top of this already, I just want you to look at that cat eye. Can you see now? How part of the uh, reason my nails are so pretty is the way the cat eye is pulled on it. So now you take this and you brush this over top and this tints the silver moonbeam, whatever color you've made this. Now I'm gonna put two coats 
just so I get it a little bit uh, deeper tone. I would rather mix my glass gel too light than have it too dark to start with. Now let's cure. I'm actually gonna freeze cure that for only 10 seconds because this is mixed in top coat and top coat doesn't stick to top coat fully uh, cured. Now let's do again. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, let's just give that a second to settle. Isn't it beautiful, Erica? Now let's put our little sunlight on it because outside, this is what she's going to do. Right? <laughs> inside, this is what she's going to do. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. And let's cure that. No need for another top coat because this is made in top coat. We got some extra of that left. Let's put it on here. I hate to waste it. And now we can tint that pink. There are so many recipes, quote unquote, that we could make uh with this silver cat eye it's unbelievable unbelievable now i'm gonna wipe out with a clean brush i'm gonna take that pink tint out of the inside of here and this one i will uh, put a fresh top coat over it so this doesn't show look at that Now, let's see how this looks over one of our nude nails that we did. Let's do this one. Moonbeam. We have four silver cat eyes, but each one of them have uh, a little bit of a color hue to it, except this one. This one is truly silver. The other silvers are like a blue silver, a lavender silver, and I believe one's like a little rose goldish silver, but this is the true silver one. All right, here we go, GGO. Push, 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 and hover. This is going to give a spicy look, I can tell. And let's go in. Now the challenge is going to be mixing and ink that color. We can do it. I know we can. Let's break that color down real quick. We know it's a blushy base, which is an orangey base. It also has a little bit of uh, yellow in it. It has a little bit of a red undertone, maybe a little bit of pink. So again, it doesn't have to match exactly. If you don't want to mix a, an alcohol ink base to match that, look what I got. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, wrong one. <laughs> Smoldering Sunset. This is one of our glass gels. I think she matches it perfect, but I'm gonna show you all these. Uh, then I have Whiskey Lullaby. Honestly, I think you could use any of these. And I have Black Currant Tea. Don't you think this is almost a perfect match? Or shall I use Whiskey Lullaby? I don't know.
Oh, what the heck? Let's use Whiskey Lullaby. Here we go, GGO. Whiskey Lullaby, Smoldering Sunset, and Black Currant Tea. And let's just let that level. Give it just a second there. Look at that, how beautiful. Honestly, I think this was the better match, but this looks really pretty over it. In we go. We have several shades in glass gel that's already pre-mixed that you don't have to do anything to. You don't have to mix up an alcohol ink for. You know what? We have this little lady. We put always a bridesmaid over this. We're also going to cat eye it. We sure are. Push, 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 push. Oh, look at that peeking out from underneath there. Okay, that's really pretty. In we go. This one will put the uh, smoldering, let's see. Let's do the black currant tea on that one. No, let's do Smoldering Sunset because otherwise we won't see the shimmers. I'm having to think out loud here. <laughs> ah. Aren't these pretty though? All right, here we go. Smoldering Sunset. That was the right choice. I don't know if you can see those little rose gold shimmers peeking through or not, but this is stunning. You know what people are going to ask you if you wear this? Hey, girl, did all that come out of one bottle? Outdoor sunlight. Indoor daylight. Look at this right in here. How pretty. I would totally wear this. Okay, we got another one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go with, um, where is... Always a bridesmaid. I got to have a coat of that on this one. I'm just alternating back and forth. I, I'm trying to make as much as I can with what comes in the uh, bundle. Really good buy on the bundle. Now, this Always a Bridesmaid uh, is a chameleon polish as well. She's going to go crazy if you put this over darker colors, if you use it over navy, if you use it over purple. Uh, here's what she's going to do over black. It's not even the same thing. This is a rosy fuchsia slash rose gold over black. In sunlight, it completely changes color. I don't know if you can see that or not. It starts to turn uh, gold. Do we sell these tips? I don't. These are just the stiletto swatch tips. They actually use a lot of product. If you want to be saving with your product, use a smaller tip. That's my only uh, fault to using those. Let's put a top coat on this one while those are curing. 
you know, I feel like it wastes my product. You're twice as long as what a natural nail would be. This is pretty. This is Moonbeam with that leftover uh, glass gel that I just made. Uh, yes, those are the coffin. Uh, is it the coffin or the ballerina opaque white, I believe? Let Rebecca see if we have those in stock. Okay, now little silver cat eye. Milky white, yes, they're the milky white ones. There they are. Now this one's going to get some black currant tea over top of her. Look, we've got always a bridesmaid over the pink. Then we've got the cat eye, and then I'm going to put the glass gel on it too. I'm just going all out with her. You know, there are a lot of educators that teach advanced cat eye courses. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. Now I'm using the size three. I typically like to use one size when uh, I'm live. So in case you're wondering, that's the size three out of that package. Okay, look at this baby. Oh, she, she didn't have a top coat yet. This looks like cashmere. Oh, honey. Now, I want to see one of these with matte. Do y'all mind? Can I matte one of these? Let's matte this one. Velvet mat. Okay, let's pop that in. All right, and this one's going to get black currant tea put over her. It is this right here. This is a glass gel. That's why the top is uh, see-through. Some people call them jelly polishes. Some people call them glass gel, stained glass. Regardless, they're not opaque. They are completely see-through with a tint. It's like your tinted windows in your car. And let's let that level just a little bit. Are you seeing how you can totally change the color of this thing? Get a bajillion ways. A bajillion ways. Now, what I have not tried, I wanted to try it today, and I've been filming all day. I wanted to see if I could actually tint this with an alcohol ink before putting it on. And, you know, then you have the color uh, ready to go. Let's clean off my little palette here. If that's the case, any solid color ink you have would make a new color cat eye. Should we try it? Should we try it? Should we try it? We got just a few minutes. Let's do it. What color? Red. Let's try red. I got red sitting here. Okay. 
Always drop the wet ink into the wet product. Don't put the ink on the palette and let it dry and then try to mix your product in because once the fluid has evaporated from here, it'll no longer mix. It'll just be kind of, you're just left with pigment. So yeah, it won't mix in. Let's try that much to start with. I'm sorry. Uh, the glass gels, Trina, she just had them up top. Hold on. She'll put that link up again for you. Hold on. Just a second. There they are. Now let's see if we can get a cat eye pull with this. Look, you can adjust the uh, the intensity of the color. If I want this redder, I'd have to put more ink in there. Y'all following me? Okay, I don't hate you. I think this would do better with maybe a blue. I like it better with the color over top rather than mixed in. I think the color is going to get uh, washed out by mixing it in. Plus, we're going to lose some of that really pretty crystal cat eye application. So it was worth a try. Worth a try. All right, let me clean up my palette here. Look what I did, though. That was a nice muted kind of red. It just depends on the uh, what you're going to use it for. I'm in love with this. You know what? We have colors of the season. Spring, we think, you know, we got to have pastels. Summer, we think we have to have all the brights. That's not untrue, but people are going to wear what they like to wear, bottom line, period. How many of y'all have those clients that don't wear anything but nude? And no, no matter what time of season it is, right? These are all, let's see, these two are over nude. And these, these were over the pinks. Look at that, how pretty, and look how well they go together. All right, real quick, let me tell you what's in the bundle because I can already tell by all the little clicks here that this bundle is going bye-bye. Uh, so we have in the bundle, you're going to get both of these. Now, in a 15 milliliter bottle of polish, let me say this you can get approximately 85 manicures out of here, and that's two coats per color in a liquid bottle of polish, not a solid gel. This is 85 one coat. This is 85 two coats. So basically, in tonight's bundle, you got 12 colors of gel. You're going to get this whole set. You're going to get this whole set. These are all HEMA free. Then you're going to get Always a Bridesmaid, that beautiful, beautiful uh, purple with the rose gold halo. Very, very pale, nice tintable color. And you're going to get Moonbeam, which is this cat eye that's gone uh, crazy over these tonight. All four pieces of that. If you bought it separately, it's $106. Buy in the bundle, you save, what, $7? It's $99. You love the nude? I, I like all of it, Regina. I, I feel like I would wear, wear this at different times versus this at different times. If I'm filming like... Uh, maybe a big boot camp. I like my nails to be nude. So this is a little spiced up nude version. You know, if I'm filming really intricate artwork, I don't want my nails to take away from it. 
or if I'm doing a trade show, typically I will wear something a little bit more subdued on my nails. The moonbeam is the true silver. Yes, yes. I can show you the other silvers in these four uh, collection of four if you want. Look, I need all of them, honey, because one of them's a velvet silver. This is a crystal silver. On the back row right here, Rebecca, would you hand me those, hon? Uh, next one down, next one to your right. One more to the right, back row. Yeah. Okay, so the velvet silver, sorry, I gotta reach under here. Velvet silver is called Tracy's tombstone. <laughs> Girl, who named these polishes? Who named these? Do you have, do I have any of these? No, I got new ones on my nails, boo. They haven't been released yet, what I'm wearing on my nails. Let me show you Tracy's tombstone, though, because this is really, really pretty. This velvet one is beautiful. You should already be able to see a difference when the velvet goes on versus the crystal. And this one is going to pull a little bit of uh, almost a blue undertone to it. Almost. I'm going to zoom you in. I think if Zane is watching, I believe she has all four of these. I've seen her use these at different uh, times. They are so, so pretty. Look at that, how pretty. See that icy kind of blue, slate blue when you turn it that way? These are high impact cat eyes too. Really gorgeous. This is Tracy's tombstone. My tombstone better not have no cat on it. Now, if we want to make this go 9D, let's put this in. The 9D on this, we have to use the other magnet on, and we're going to get two different colors uh, cat eye on it. These are multi-tonal cat eyes. So when we push this little end in, one two, three. Look, you got a little blue, you got a little pink in there. One, two, three. You have a double ring. It's like Saturn. So that is Tracy's tombstone. Now, you know these are cat eye because they have a cheetah print border around them. Uh, then we have lavender. This is Graveyard Goosebumps. It's a really pretty heather lavendery shade. This over dark purple is smashing, honey. Let's kind of pull into the side and pull that cat eye through there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Very, very pale pinky lavender. Uh, this was released around Halloween, yes. Now let's put this cat eye on it that I'm wearing. I, I love to do my cat eye in the fashion that I have it on. And uh, these were so popular, April, we brought these into the core collection. Look at that, how pretty. Ooh, honey.
last but not least is my favorite one in here if i'm if i'm wanting a cat eye with a little bit of color on it i want this one this is called funeral flowers uh it's not pink it's not green it's it's not rose gold it's somewhere in between all of those you're getting it april you will not regret it honey these are beautiful look at this lord miss tracy It looks a little bronze. It looks a little pink. It looks a little green. It's definitely a chameleon crystal cat eye. Now, when we, let's do it the way I like to wear my cat eye first. Isn't that pretty? But if we're going to re, I call it rehydrate. Let's rehydrate it. One, two, three, and hover, 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 hover. Now we have a double ring of uh, green, bronze, and pink rose, like a rosy pink. Let's put the sunlight on it here. Ooh! This is what she looks like outside. Lavender and bright, bright peachy rose gold. If you are going to wear this or you're going to put this on a client, you need to let them know when you go outside or you're driving to work or whatever, that nail is going to change color. They could be calling you. Girl, my nails has changed color. <laughs> That's a perk of wearing this. Hey, here's that one, Matt. So that is the four tombstone collection uh, cat eyes. Now this is the, hold on, let me get these out of here so I don't get them mixed up. Okay, here we go. This is uh, Velvet Cat Eye. This was, uh, what was this? Tracy's Tombstone. This is the one we used tonight, Moonbeam. This one was go uh, Graveyard Goosebumps. See how lavender-y she is? And then this was Funeral Flowers. Uh, they look fabulous behind your one stroke. Yes, they do. And that collection Rebecca had up in the top of there. And then here's the bundle that we're very, very limited on tonight as well. And these are available uh, individually too. So if you're going to get the bundle tonight, you're getting Moonbeam. You can get these little extras uh, if you want to add it into your collection. Wearing these to the beach is amazing, honey. All right, listen, we're going to see y'all Wednesday. We'll talk to y'all soon. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.